大家好 ，Hello everyone, it's Tai here. I don't know about you guys, but I am a big fan of Heaven Officials Blessing or 天官赐福 It's actually the first BL genre 动漫 or novel that I watched. And today I'll be sharing some facts that you might not know about 天官赐福 If you haven't read the novel, there might be spoilers. Just a little heads up: you have been warned. Number one: During the first adventure we see Xie Ling venture into, we meet the short-lived character Xiao Ying or Little Yin. Although she was weak and didn't help much, she was a compassionate person who did her best to help others as much as she could. Her name in Chinese, Yin, has the hidden meaning of small but bright. Number two: Almost all the rumors about Hua Cheng were real. He lost the sight of his right eye at birth and hated the world when he was a child. He died fighting for his country in his youth, and he died for love and did not let go of this attachment even after death. And he ascended to become a deity once, but jumped down to cast away his godhood. Number three, there are nicknames for the four ghosts. Originally, they are called 血雨探花 (blood rain reaching towards flowers), 黑水沉舟 Black waters that submerge boats, 白衣祸事 white clothing that brings disaster to the world, and 青灯夜游 the green light that wanders at night. And their alternate nicknames are 血雨放贷 blood rain that lends money, 黑水欠债 black waters that's in debt, 白衣销售 white clothing that advertises, and 青灯拐卖 green light that kidnaps. Number four. The first time in 800 years when Xie Lian met Hua Cheng again was in Yu Jun Shan or Yu Jun Mountain when he saw the silver butterflies at Xiang Feng Xiao Dian or Xiang Feng Shop. Yu Jun means with a gentleman or with your husband. Xiang Feng means to meet. Put them together and what have you got? To meet with your husband at Yu Jun Mountain. Number five. After Xie Lian ascended heaven for the third time in 800 years, Ling Wen once said that Feng Xin often wanders the human realm. The reason? He was possibly always on the lookout for Xie Lian. Number six. The first time we meet Fu Yao, Xie Lian asked them, "Do you know who I am?" Fu Yao rolled his eyes and said, "You are the righteous path in the human realm, the center of the world." And when Xie Lian was first banished from heaven. Mu Qing asked Xie Lian, "Who do you think you are? The righteous path of the human realm, the center of the world?" At this point, Mu Qing's disguise, Fu Yao, was already exposed. Number seven. After their adventure together in Ban Yue Kingdom, Xie Lian invited Fu Yao for dinner, but they both rejected the offer and told them an excuse to avoid it. This also hinted that they already know how bad Xie Lian's cooking skills are. Their identities were starting to expose. Number eight, Hua Cheng refused to become a deity because he couldn't find Xie Lian in heaven, and it was more convenient to search for Xie Lian as a ghost king. He also wasn't exactly friendly with the other gods. The only god he believed in was Xie Lian. Also, if he did ascend heaven, Xie Lian would no longer have a believer among the human realm. Thus, Xie Lian could have died. Number nine, Xie Lian chose to collect scraps as a living. Because one, it acts as a job for him to live among humans. Second, it helped him cultivate his xing xing or his spiritual level. Third, he gave away all of his luck, and misfortune was his constant companion. And anyone near him would also suffer the same fate. So, in order for him not to harm others, was to do something no one was willing to do: collect scraps. Number ten, when Xie Lian and Hua Cheng met on the ox cart. Hua Cheng told Xie Lian that he got into a fight with his family, and was kicked out of the house. He strayed for a long time and didn't know where to go. This was also the exact answer he gave to Xie Lian when he first fell off the wall as a child. These are just a little portion of some hidden details in Tian Guan Si Fu that I read from a blog post. If you're interested, please go check out the post. If you have a Billy Billy account, follow the writer to support them. The link is in the description below. But if you don't understand Chinese, don't worry. That's why I'm here. I'll make more videos translating the details. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you like my contents. Until next time, 我们下次见。